Welcome to Under Two Capes News. I am Jared. And I'm Lad Brown, live reporter here. And if ever did we have an episode for you all today, it is Mm -hmm. this. So for context, media insider Grace Randolph, who works for Rooster Teeth and is associated with Warner Brothers. So in this particular rumor, we can kind of take her with more than a grain of salt. Mm-hmm. Even it, she has been wrong on certain things. So I'm saying what could happen could reverse. But anyway, what she tweeted, the flash is Batfleck's final appearance, old f- 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 footage of Cavill used on TV. And by the way, this is the DCEU plan. New Justice League formed. Supergirl is the new Superman. Keaton working with Black Canary picks Batgirl as the new Batman. This is the new DC. Let's be open-minded and give it a fair shot. All right. So Sweet. And then combine that with the additional rumor that's been cited by multiple insiders that the Flash is going to be used to completely eliminate the Snyderverse from DCEU canon. In other words, Warner is at it again. Mm -hmm. So Lan and I were talking about this before we started recording. And basically our thing is, why the hell is Warner Brothers spatting away wads of cash that we would be giving these people to make these properties? And why, first off, why are they replacing Superman and Batman? With not, yeah. with and it's one thing to to like race Ben Clark Ken the Tanahasi Code Superman movie, which I'm still convinced is not going to happen. But to straight up say we're not going to do Superman anymore, we're going to do Supergirl. That is just stupid as hell. Right. We were we were talking about it because like there's you can have Superman movies and Supergirl movies, and Batman and Batgirl movies. They can easily coexist. You know, we'd see both of them. It'd be exciting and fun. It's a different genre and it's exciting. But the fact that they're going to be replacing Superman and Batman is really disappointing because we really enjoy those characters. And I would like to see Bat. I would like to see Ben Affleck's first Batman movie at some point. And yeah. I'd like to see Super Henry Cavill's second Superman movie at some point. But I guess we may never see that. And that's kind of, that's upsetting because we've waited about, you know, six seven years for this to happen and then they just go ahead and pull the rug rug out from under us and just say this is never happening it's just it's just that's where that's the main reason we're upset is because we really wanted to see we wanted to see those movies we want to see those characters continue those storylines especially with the snyder stuff as well but it's just this this announcement or this rumor this leak just kind of confirms our worst fears (sighs) Palpatine has returned <laughs> somehow. <laughs> somehow, the Whedon verse yeah. has returned. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, a couple of things. Now, I do still say, take it with a grain of salt be, in light that the Discovery merger is happening. And I guarantee you, the head of Discovery is paying attention to the social media ba- because it's not just Snyder cut fans that are pissed off by this. It, you have managed to piss off DC fan. You managed to unite DC fandom against yourself. Imagine that. Yeah. And add on to the fact that it's kind of funny how they're replacing Batman w- with, um, in light of the joke that if, if DC stopped publishing Batman comics, comic book shops would, would shut down. Right. Batman, so, somehow, Batman. The rich Batman is able to to cross the multiverse to to subsidize the American comic book industry. Right. Yeah, I mean, that thing is how he supports comic books. Exactly. I mean, this is like this discussion definitely ties in with the Robert Patterson Batman movie where we see that they're already planning their new reboot that's kind of aside from the DCEU. And that kind of, you know, that that follows along this discussion. I mean, how do you think that connects with, you know, Ben Affleck leaving his last role in the Flash movie? Well, first off, and- you know that the that the Batman's that the, the, the Robert Pattinson Batman movie was supposed to be the Ben Affleck Batman movie. 
I didn't know that, actually. They canceled it before the Snyder Cut. And then just uh, 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 before the theatrical cut of Justice League came out. Right. Yeah. The whole Batman versus, you know, in Arkham Asylum or versus Deathstroke. He was going to be in Arkham Asylum. And he, it was basically going to be one of those movies where, where he fights through Arkham in order to get to Deathstroke. And then like every member of Batman's rogues galleries would show up and try and stop him. Who the hell doesn't want to see that? Yeah. But it's. Uh, as you can tell, I'm really pissed off. Not just as a Snyderverse fan, but as a DC fan yeah. in general, because this is just stupid here. This is coming right. from the company that published a comic where Superman is ass raped in prison. Yikes. They didn't show it, obviously, because then there'd be even more of an uproar, even more than the uh than the, the black label Batman controversy. Controversy. But it seems still. like the comics, uh, the comics have once again done some weird stuff. It's like I thought Marvel only did did, did that weird stuff with the whole Gwen Stacy Norman Osborn thing, but no. Let me put this way: there's a reason why. Like let me put this way: I recently w- w- went to my local comic book shop to like p- p- uh, to, to like um, uh, uh, buy some graphic novels for Christmas, and the only stuff I and I only got old stuff. Mm-hmm. I have not gotten futures. The only new thing I got is is Endless Winter. And that's just because I like yeah. the storyline on that. But pretty much, I haven't bought anything new for a very long time. New, like, I would say like 2015 and on. Yeah. Because that's when DC, because... I actually no, that's not true because I got I got a lot of Rebirth stuff and that that started in 2016. But my point is, I don't buy Marvel new stuff Marvel 2016 because that's when an all new, all different happened. That's when I stopped uh, did doing. Marvel. Yeah, I, I only have the old. My newest stuff is all X Men because I like what Hickman does. Yeah, but the point is, let me put it this way: DC already had P- uh, Warner already had people saying they're going to boycott the DCEU. They're going to boycott Flash. They're not going to watch their stuff anymore. They're going to go watch Marvel movies now. Now they just yeah. got a larger group of people doing that. Imagine that, lad. You managed to. And it, here's the problem: it's not just that these rumors are abounding. It's just Warner is doing nothing to confirm nor deny these rumors. If they're false. They should be denying them immediately as soon as they see people wanting to leave their products and saying, I'm not going to watch any of your crap. Not even the Batman movie. Mm -hmm. Because there are people that are saying, I'm not even going to watch the Batman movie anymore. Right. And I I hope the Batman movie does well. You know, know, it's exciting to see another Batman version. It's sad to see Ben Affleck leave and stuff. But, you know, if that doesn't do well, then we'd be in a lot of trouble because then we really, you know, have some... I guess we could just bring Keaton back. Can we just do more movies of Keaton? That's what we're going to do, too. But I'm like, wait a second. So you're trying to make him like the Nick Fury of the universe, but you do realize that the dude is like 70 years old. Yeah. You can't, you can't sustainably, you can't do, you, you can't make him the Batman of the DCEU. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's a problem. Look this way. Compare it to what Marvel has done with the multiverse and compare, uh, compare it to DC with the multiverse. They Marvel used the multiverse to give us all three Spider Men in one yeah. movie fighting side by side against the against a multiverse Sinister Six. Mm-hmm. In other words, what the fans freaking want. Yeah, DC is like, no, nope, we're just gonna use the multiverse to completely eliminate everything that came before us. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like. The, you guys claim you want to do what the MCU does, but you're not doing it. Yeah. You know, and like, we want to go see the movie. It's not like we will like, like, we're not like pointlessly bagging on DC and Warner Brothers Studios and the powers that be, you know, we would love to, we, we go to see all the DC stuff that comes out. We'll probably going to, well, uh, Jared will probably go see Batman. I don't know. Maybe I'll be dragged to go seeing it but well, it might be too it's, it doesn't look that scary come on it if might be, you could might take be too... batman v superman i'm pretty sure you could take this movie 
Yeah. Um, you know, we would we love it. We want to go see the DC movies. We want to see more Batman. We want to see you, Superman. We want to see Supergirl. Lots of freaking Batgirl. Flash fan. The largest I'm a Flash, Flash fan. fan I know. I know. I want to go see these movies, but it's just like the fact that DC has been, you know, telling us we're going to get some stuff. And then, you know, we're waiting for a Superman sequel or a Batman, you know, with Affleck and we just, you know, it's all been kind of quiet on DC's end. And it seems like they're just rebooting now without ever giving us kind of what we were expecting. It's just, it's disappointing. And we, we want to see DC do well. You know, it's not like we want to like say everyone should quit DC and go to the Marvel universe. We want to see DC do great movies because they have great characters and storylines that can rival or uh, exceed the MCU. And it's just sad to see this happen. Yeah. Which guess what? It could. Uh, uh, if they yeah. had done the Snyderverse, they could have definitely competed with the MCU if they, and, and surpassed them. Mm-hmm. But let's let's do a quick recap on what the DCEU has done under Warner Brothers without Snyder. We had Superman stupid lip. We had Joss. <laughs> we had the Flash falling on Wonder Woman's boobs. The Russian Yikes. family next to a nuclear reactor. Wonder Woman 1984, whatever the hell that was. It was okay. It was a bit sketchy sometimes, but it was okay. It was okay. Most of it was sketchy. It was a bit sketchy. Like, like DC cannot afford to have okay-ish movies. Right. The whole Particularly I when like you have the, the MCU, <laughs> because right now we're after endgame. Now, yeah. now, now the standards are higher for DC because now they're after no way home. Right. Yeah. It, it, yeah, it, you know, I mean, even Suicide Squad has a sequel and Superman doesn't have a sequel, you know, and Justice League doesn't have a sequel either. You know, it's uh, it's kind of like the end, you know, the world we live in. I mean, Harley Quinn has more movies than Batman does in the DCEU. That's that says a lot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it, and the problem is. I remember seeing, uh, and the the issue is, is that guess what? This is not anything new. These issues started after, uh, before Justice League was released in theaters, yeah. because that's when Warner Brothers exploited the death of Snyder's daughter to completely destroy Justice League, and we got that thing from 2017. Luckily, mm-hmm. they had a brain cell. To, to give the fans what they wanted. By the way, look at what happened when Warner gave the fans what they wanted with the Snyder cuts. Mm-hmm. Look at how popular that thing was to the point where they were forced to acknowledge it as a global phenomenon. Yeah. You know, servers people were excited went to down. See it. Servers went yeah. down because so many people were watching this movie. Yeah. It was like a million tweets and stuff. Like a lot of people were talking about it. All there time. were people that said they watched this movie 17 times. <laughs> Oh Which boy. I'm like, I'm like, I wish I had that much free time. But okay, <laughs> I myself have watched it five times, so twenty hours. <laughs> yeah, nice. Uh, the, it's just like overall quality. Lot. Well, let me ask you: overall quality of movies. Now, you could the only. I, I think the only two good DC EU movies that we've had. Ignoring the Snyder stuff, because you already know I love the Snyder yeah. stuff, is Aquaman and Shazam. Suicide Squad, yeah. I felt, was a little too much. It, it, it was like a fun movie. I wouldn't necessarily call it like no, what I, no, I would no. usually expect. I'm, from- I'm not talking about David Ayer's Suicide Squad. I'm talking about oh. the, the recent one that was released. I love oh. David Ayer's oh, like, yeah. like, Can we get the air cut? <laughs> Do we get because you all you all saw what happened when you released the Snyder cut? Oh boy, I, I really don't think this the air cut's ever gonna happen. We said the same thing with the Snyder cut, and the merge is happening. Uh, that's true. Watch the day the war- merger is finally being like finalized, there will be a massive tweeting thing for restore the Snyder verse and yeah. release the air cut. Right. And there you go. That's it. And, and let's be clear. We are not saying cancel all the other DCEU projects and only do the Snyderverse stuff. Yeah. We are not saying that whatsoever. We're just saying don't like completely ignore the fans that basically major DCEU. Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, yeah, because it's like, yeah, just like you're saying, like the problem started like, you know, before Justice League came out and then it came out and it was very, the vision was changed. It was finally fixed when we had it, the Snyder Cut release. But, you know, Aquaman and Shazam both were really, you know, cool movies. Shazam, a little bit of a smaller story, but still really great. But I mean, it really has been a long while, you know, since we've gotten some good stuff, I mean, Birds of Prey was, you know, Birds of Prey. Birds of you know. Prey <laughs> is my least favorite superhero movie ever. Not right. says a, uh, it's not n- not my least favorite DC movie. My least favorite superhero movie, and that mm-hmm. includes uh, that. You know what that means, lad? I like Captain Marvel more than Birds of Prey. It's pretty impressive, Brie Larson. By the way, real oh. quick, real quick. I recently completed a rewatch of the entire MCU up to Endgame. Change my opinion on Black Panther. It's much better than, than, than I gave it credit for. Mm. Back to our discussion. The point is, that says a lot when Birds of Prey is my least favorite superhero movie. Right. You know, 1984 was, you know, it was fun action. It was some <laughs> cool stuff. The, the Wish thing was cool, but it kind of, you know, the whole, like, it didn't really fit in with reality, so it made it harder to accept. Suicide Squad, you know, it's, you know, it's interesting. It's it's also not like what everyone goes out to DC for, just the Suicide Squad stuff. I mean, so what we're saying is like, it's been like two or three years where it's really been, we're, we've just been, you know, waiting for some really cool stuff like Batman and one uh, Superman and, you know, one woman to have a cool action adventure that isn't like a race at the end of it. Uh, and it seems like finally now we're going to get some exciting movies like Black Adam is going to be awesome. Flash. Black Adam looks dope. Black Adam looks Flash. awesome. I mean, the jury's still out actually, on Flash. I love Flash. He's my favorite DC character. Like as I've said, I just hope it's actually a Flash movie and not just, you know, Batman, Supergirl time, you know, timeline resetting movie for the DC so universe. Like so far mm-hmm. it looks like that. Aquaman is going to be amazing. Batgirl should be cool on the, you know, streaming service. Shazam's going to be awesome. You know, it seems like some finally some we're getting some good projects coming up, but we've been like dead in the water for like 3 years now and we're also getting the you know, rumored news of Batman and Superman leaving and being replaced. That just kind of caps off this entire like dry spell we've had and just really makes it disappointing you know it just feels frustrating yeah you're replacing your two most popular characters one of which create led to the creation of the superhero genre of comic books Mm -hmm. so you're not going to do superman movies anymore what there's not going to be any more superman movies in your shared universe are you stupid yes yeah that's the answer to that you're not going to do Batman who single-handedly supports your entire comic book line. No, we're not going to do a Batman movie, even though he supports the entire comic book industry. Do you think we can get Brendan, uh, Brandon Ruth back and do a Superman Returns sequel? <laughs> no, no, no. I think if we could get him back into a Kingdom Come movie. That'd be cool. Because be I've heard that in the Crisis on Infinite Earths crossover, that redeemed his Superman. Really? My problem with the Superman in, in, in Superman Returns is that the S is too small. <laughs> like, the hell? <laughs> it's like, uh, I'm yeah. like, is that Superman? What superhero are you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> there was a cool part where he lands and he's walking and the dude on the, on the turret is shooting at him and he's just yeah. walking as the bullets are bouncing off. There were mm-hmm. good parts, but I wouldn't want that. Let me put it this way. Here's the thing. Here's what Snyder did. Uh, This is what would actually happen if Superman showed up. Not like, oh, he's automatically accepted. No. Yeah. He's an alien with like insane powers that can destroy the entire planet. Even back then when the Reeves movies were released, those movies were not like, were not what would happen at all. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that in any time period, you see a person that has godlike powers, they're going to be like Batman and BVS. Yeah. If there's a 1% chance they, they could turn against us, we have to destroy them. Yeah, exactly. That, that would be what would happen. Yeah, that's what the U.S. does anyway. <laughs> USA does. Yeah, exactly. But it's like, 
Our point is, let me put it this way. If these rumors are wrong and they're just rumors, Warner should be the first. The other travesty of this is that Warner sucks at communicating with people, apparently, mm-hmm. because yeah. these because they have done nothing to confirm nor deny these rumors. They've not even said we cannot confirm nor deny these rumors. They've just said nothing, which leads to speculation like this, which can screw yeah. your entire film franchise. Right. Like, we don't want to be making this video. We want to be, you know, watching, you know, fun DC content. But when we have, there's no communication. Like, if, you know, that we need communication for the relationship between the brand and the customers to work. And if it's not working, then, you know, customers get upset. Uh, the you, M- you know MCU is? is great at communication. You know, Marvel... Kevin Feige, you know, they are fantastic. They tell us this, 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 this coming out. You know, we're, that's fantastic over there. Yeah. Kevin Feige tells us why we're doing this, like right there. And then he, and then the MCU legit dispels rumors. Yeah. So I'm like, uh, and you know, what I think it is, if these rumors are true, I think it's ego. The, the executives at Warner Brothers don't want to admit that they were wrong in completely destroying whatever Snyder did. Because let me put it this way, what they wanted screwed the DCEU. The Justice League is why why the the DC movie universe became a joke for three years. Mm -hmm. Right. For three years, everyone's like, well, uh, everyone was like, it's very rare that DC makes a good superhero movie. Then the Snyder Cut's released and everyone's like, we could have had this in 2017. Yeah. I'm like, what? What? That's why I think yeah. these people either need to be fired or reassigned to something that has that's as far away from DC Comics as possible. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's that's pretty much pretty much what I'm thinking about it. I, I nothing else really. I can think on my end, Jared. What do you think? Uh, yeah, I think we're good. As uh, I'm looking at at, at the uh, t- at the Twitter comments, and like a lot of them are like are, are showing, yeah, okay. So th- this is the, is the Flash you want your movie? It's Flash going Dostoevsky, and then him falling in Wonder Woman. There's like oh, oh th- there was a scene in 1984. She, she, she's in the gold suit. She's walking toward Maxwell Lord, and then a piece of paper will, 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 like hits her in the face. Yeah. I share it. I'm going to share this because this is what, what I'm seeing as the future of the DCEU right there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fantastic. And, and, Super, and Superman's messed up lip. Yeah. Uh, and then they, and then the, my other problem is that they're using Michael Keaton, not as he should be used as like, uh, because Originally, they said he was going to be the Nick Fury of the DC Universe. I was like, okay, he's going to be there every now and then to like say, okay, mm. this threat's coming. Not that he's going to be fundamentally rewriting the entire DCEU pretty much. Yeah. And let me put it this way. A lot of these, uh, my, my other problem with these executives is that they're stuck in a period of DC that's no longer relevant. Because let me put it this way. With 1984, we all know that movie bombed horribly. That movie was trying to do a Christopher Reeves Wonder Woman movie, which let's face it, nowadays, that mm. post-crisis on Infinite Earths, just like post-80s, guess what? That whole like golden age, oh my gosh, everything's so positive and liking, that's not relevant anymore with the audience. That's why these darker movies do great. Look at Nolan's Batman movies. Look at Man of Steel did well. Look at Zack Snyder's Justice League. Look at, look at Joker. Yeah. The fan base does not want this. You could say the DCEU, uh, I mean, the the MCU has some pretty, like, uh, is pretty lighthearted, but it's got some very dark themes. Very mm. dark. Like Age of Ultron is when we first saw what the hell happened to the Red Room. And they said that they should have sterilized people. Yeah. Like, guys, the heck are you doing here? Yeah. And my, my favorite is that they try and copy the MCU, but they're not copying. 
the good part of what made the MCU so popular because guess what they did? They listened to the fans. Yeah. Because look what happened. Spider-Man is now the most successful Sony movie of all time. Yeah. And, and what was Spider-Man? Fan service the movie. Mm-hmm. These movies should in a be good way. Ser- in a good way. These movies should be fan service the movie in a good way. Mm-hmm. Uh, in fact, I would argue Zack Snyder's Justice League was the DC fans version of the good fan service the movie because it was like we got Dark Side, we got the New Gods, we yeah. got a good Justice League. We got mm-hmm. we finally got a fantastic. What I still maintain is the greatest Superman moment of all time, the axe on the shoulder, him going not impressed and then proceeding to completely tear Steppenwolf apart. We finally got a cool look in Steppenwolf. Mm -hmm. We finally got to see, like, the Green Lanterns actually look cool. We Wait, wait, wait. Here's the other thing. We got to see freaking Martian Manhunter and confirm that it was him, that General Swanwick, the general from... Man of Steel BVS was was Martian Manhunter, and apparently Zach planned it from Man of Steel. That scene w- w- where he is talking to Superman through the glass—that's when he re- that's when he planned out that that's Martian Manhunter. Mm-hmm. So let me put it this way: say what you. Uh, I can understand if you don't like Zack Snyder's like movie style. A hundred percent. There's some things in there that I'm not really that. I'm not the biggest fan of the ultimately there's n- nothing in those movies. I absolutely hate, but the point mm. is that I can understand if you don't like his movies, I a hundred percent got that. That's your right as a fan to not like his movies. That's mm. fine. My issue is uh, let me repeat what I'm saying. Okay. So I can understand that you don't like Zack Snyder's movie, but my issue is, when you start saying we need to do things that no longer work mm-hmm. because I, I last night, as a matter of fact, I got into a debate on the S- Superman w- w- under woman, uh, like d- discord chat about, so there was, I'm sure you, you've seen the photo lad that Zack Snyder had of like an else world's wonder woman. She's holding a bunch of heads and a sword. No, really? Yeah. It was supposed to be like wonder woman's 18 18- 54 or something like that. All right. I'll, I'll find the image real quick. It was supposed to be like, that was Zach's original intention for Wonder Woman. But then they're like, you can't do that because these movies are supposed to be marketed toward kids first. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, I'm sorry. Are kids the only people that go see these movies? And oh, 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 First off, here's the problem with that argument. Do you really think that parents are going to are going to not bring their kids to a dark super. I'm sure there are parents that brought their kids to see Joker. <laughs> I, I'm like, do you really think parents are not gonna... growing up? I saw kids going into like, like the conjuring movies. I right. didn't see those movies. Cause I'm not freaking nuts. Yeah. But... <laughs> I don't want nightmares. <laughs> yes. But the point is, do you really think that, f- that, Parents are not going to bring their kids in there. And then they go, well, it's supposed to be a, like a role model for kids. The story of Wonder Woman was Zach's Wonder Woman w- 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 with the photo. Hang on. Wonder Woman 1854 was Steve Trevor was going to teach her, was going to teach her that, that, that you can't like lock people's heads off. Mm-hmm. And, 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 and basically encouraging her to be more of a, more of a super, more of a superhero. Because he, here's what Zack Snyder did: it showed the the heroes growing and becoming the heroes that we needed. It's it's like where they took three movies to make a good to make Spider Man, Spider Man. Yeah. yeah. Which and then the DC fans will say, well, they should, should 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 have done that in the first movie. Well, that's boring. That's my other issue with fandoms. Is that they say, oh, DC never does anything new with these characters. Marvel never does anything new with these characters. And then when they do do something new with the characters, the fans are like, why are you doing that? That's not these characters. Here's the photo. By, here's the photo, by the way, of Wonder Woman, lad. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, it's that. But do you see what I'm saying, lad? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. No, that's true. That is true. It's... and. By the way, how many? Uh, th- there were so many people on Twitter that after they saw Zack Snyder's Justice League were like, I get it now. This is so much better. Yeah. Plus the fact, here's the thing. 
here's what Zack Snyder and the MCU have in common. They both had a plan. Mm -hmm. It's clear that the DCEU now has no plan. It's directionless. Right. Despite the fact that Warner Media repeating the word plan, we have a plan. We have faith in the plan that we planned out that we have this plan. It's very clear that it's like in Princess Bride. You keep saying that word. I'm not sure if you know what it means. Yeah. Like the heck, dude. Yeah. But that's my little tirade. Lad and I have had a little tirade. Let us know in the comments um, what you guys think of this latest news. Because remember, it's not just Snyder fans that are pissed off by this news. It's everyone. Yeah. Which at this point, this is when Warner should be coming out and saying, we lied. It's not that. Grace Randolph is wrong. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, it's insane, okay? I don't want to make this a one-hour episode, so I'm going to end it here. Yeah. I could easily do a full Under Two Capes episode on this, but I try to keep that show as positive as possible. We'll make the yeah. new show the rant show. Yeah, sounds good. All right, so lad, closing thoughts? Yeah, no, uh, I just, I hope it's not true, but if it is, I guess we're just going to have to, you know, uh, look forward to some other projects, I guess, you know, I, uh, I, I don't want that to be true, but we'll, we'll see. It's getting to the point where if they were if they replace Batman Superman, I am not going to see it, th these DC movies. I'm only going <laughs> to see the ones that are Batman and Superman. That's yeah. it. The Batman. I'll see the Flash because it's still the. I'll see the main Justice League movies, but. Not going to see, Su I'm not interested in, in, in Supergirl if it's going to be replacing Bat um, Superman. Not interested in Batgirl if it's going to be replacing Batman. Let yeah. them be their own characters because he here's my final thought. When you replace characters like this, guess what it shows? You have no faith in these characters uh, mm -hmm. as their own. Uh, that's my problem with race bending, gender bending, whatever. It shows that, you, that, that, at first off, it's based on the lie that, that comic books and this pop culture has never been diverse. That's the first lie. The second part is that these characters, is that you're not, it shows you're not willing to do the work to make these characters mainstream because you easily could. Marvel made Black Panther mainstream mm -hmm. with one movie. One movie. Yeah. Arguably, Cyborg could have been mainstream. Arguably, yes. Arguably one and a half because of Civil War. But the point yeah. is, Black Panther was nowhere near this popular until the MCU. So it's not hard. You just need someone that's actually talented, and that's the issue. Zack mm. Snyder is currently... Let me put this way. Nolan Snyder, from what I've seen, Matt Reeves, are the only talented people w working in DC creative right now. Because let me put this way, I love, from what I'm seeing with, with the Robert Pattinson Batman movie, looks fantastic. I 100% mm. of I am going to go see this. And, and a lot of DC fans are like saying, after Batman, I'm done. There are people that straight up will say, we're not going to see The Flash. And actually, what's kind of interesting, the uh, here's another rumor that I saw yesterday, as a matter of fact. DC is already listing the Flash as a huge financial loss for tax reasons. That's so not even good. DC, even DC and Warner Brothers aren't confident in their rebooting the universe movie, which is an insult to Flash fans because they're not giving because they're they're admitting right there they're only doing it not for money reasons at all, just so they can get rid of Snyder. Yeah, well, at least we have Peacemaker to look forward to. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. But the point is, we have some stuff to look forward to, but DC is making it really hard. DC and Warner are making it really hard to be fans of their content. Mm -hmm. Where with Marvel, the comics kind of make it... Let me put it this way. It says a lot when right now Marvel comics are a little more enjoyable than DC comics. I'm admitting that as a DC fan, I've, I've had... Uh, pretty much every episode of Under Two Caves, I say at one point that DC is better than Marvel. It's making it really, it's a problem when you make it hard for people to like your content. Yeah. 
That's that's yeah. pretty intense. That could be a whole breaking news episode on itself. <laughs> D- Jared yeah. prefers Marvel over DC. Due to it'll be DC's one of those drama. Creatives. It'll be yeah. one, of, one of those things among the drama YouTubers. They'll be like, yeah. did you hear Jared from uh, for, from Comics League? Like, Mar- they think Marvel <laughs> comics are more enjoyable than DC comics? Yeah, breaking news. On that light, hope you guys enjoyed, uh, en- enjoyed this rant episode. It's nothing like starting off the year with a rant. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, that's true. Starting off the year with a rant. Well, so we'll you know, see- we'll, we'll, we'll do an episode like of Under Two Capes in the future where we talk about all the upcoming DC projects like movies and TV shows and what we could look forward to, you know, uh, even though hopefully, you know, they're still hopefully they won't get rid of Batman and Super Mobile Man. But we're going to do an episode of some of the positive side of, you know, what's coming up. What can we expect? Hopefully and there's some fun stuff. Each of the movies that we are going to go see will have yeah. an Under Two Capes episode to review them. Batman's going to be reviewed. Black Adam, I'm definitely excited for because that movie looks freaking dope. And The Rock mm. has made it pretty clear that he respects D- uh, Zack Snyder and DC content. So I'm like, I'm cool I, seeing I, your movie. Now I want to see the uh, Black Adam face off against Peacemaker and have like an ultimate wrestling <laughs> match at some point. <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> No, no, yeah. they do a WWE event, but they show yeah. up in costume. Yeah, that'd be fantastic. That'd be fantastic. All right, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this rant. Happy New Year. Yeah. And hopefully we'll have more positive stuff to report on in the future. Stay yeah. heroic, and we'll see you in our next one. Bye-bye. See ya.